Okay, so let's get into these cookies. I um I know I said that it said coconut oil, but let me get into the screen. I'm not a fan of coconut oil, so I'm going with butter. A part of my problem is I don't ever measure anything, so we're just gonna play it by ear. So I'm supposed to use like a, a half a cup. I'll put that in there and That looks about right. There we go. Okay, so I'm doing that. This has got to be like the easiest recipe ever. Man, I hate coconut oil. I just don't like the, I don't like coconut anything unless it's like actual coconuts. You know what, that's a lot. I do like, there's a certain, um, ice cream the uh i don't know it's like tahitian coconut or something i love that one that is amazing but um i'm gonna put the egg in first so just in case there's a problem i'm not wasting anything okay right now i'm just mixing the softened butter just trying to get it like that's about half a cup that looks about right okay one egg Okay, so I'm gonna mix that in with the butter. Oh, that coconut oil stinks. I'm telling you, coconut oil, the only thing I do with it, it goes in my hair and like on my body. That's, oh, I do not like eating coconut oil, but I'm gonna eat it today. Okay, see, I'm just mixing. this again okay so this is what I'm using today the Lakanto sugar-free cookie mix I was thinking about actually adding some sugar to it because I don't know like how sweet or unsweetened it is but I have Lakanto monk fruit if I need to add it so I'm gonna actually open this and then I'm gonna taste the uh, batter to see if it needs any help Oh no, it's sweet. Okay. So, I'm guessing I just added in. Yeah, turn my oven on. I didn't even do that. Okay, so the oven is on. And then this just gets mixed in with this. I'm left handed, y'all, so. how I'm gonna get the sugar cookie shape. Honestly, I don't even care. I just, I don't know. I don't really stress things like that. I don't care about the shape as long as the flavor is good. Like, I'm big on flavor. If the flavor's good, I don't care about the shape. 
Okay, so that's good. I think I'm gonna leave that right there. I don't know, I don't wanna over mix it. So I'll just leave that. For my house, I love for my house to never get dirty because I'm not cleaning. So because of that, we're gonna put it on some foil. I recently got a griddle, uh, a waffle maker, so I bought this for that. So I'm just gonna. I'm just really doing this as something just to kill my sweet tooth because it seems like every month I kind of am struggling with it, um, you know, for a couple of days out of the month. So I'm just doing something. I just want to see what kind of desserts are out there because I don't like artificial sweeteners and stuff. So this this little scoop right here is going to make way more than 12 cookies, but I'll just keep them, freeze them or, you know. I can eat one cookie and then like be good or maybe eat two and be good to go. So that's pretty much what this is about. Good, this batter smells amazing. So I got it from lacanto.com. Um, uh, Trampy Keto Sis on my Instagram, she uh, made the muffins and I was like, ooh, blueberry muffins because it seems like everything that's keto is like chocolate and I'm not a fan of chocolate so I was just like, I need something that's not chocolate. I saw the muffins and was like in love. I was on the case. So I went to the website and they actually uh, had blue, uh, blueberry muffins but they also had sugar cookie mix. Now, monk fruit is the only sweetener that I will use being keto. It's the only one that I'm interested in. The rest of them, they have like a cooling effect that I've noticed, the ones that I've tried, and I'm not a fan of it. So yeah, I was like, well, if it's sweetened with monk fruit and I'm already a monk fruit fan, this might work. Let me try it. So I just ordered like a million boxes, well, like nine, nine containers of uh, powdered sugar, regular sugar, sugar cookies, um, and muffin mix. Actually, this is gonna make 12. Four, eight. Yeah, I'm gonna make a little bit more than 12. I might. So yeah, this is not, it's not bad. They're a little bit smaller than the serving size because I'm gonna be right around maybe 15. So, I've got a couple more. I'm gonna scrape and put that okay, together. There's just a few more inside of there, as y'all can see. I'm gonna scrape that out. I'm gonna scrape that out and then I'll come back. I'm gonna put them in the oven and we'll see what the end result looks like. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so I totally did not want a, um, a cookie cake, but guess what I got? Like seriously, y'all have got to order these cookies. They smell like blueberry muffins. Oh, I can't wait to try them. I'm gonna let them sit for about mm, 10, 15 minutes and then I'll okay, try them. So I absolutely love these cookies. I'm not gonna be able to like pick the whole thing up because they're kind of like crumbling, but they're only crumbling probably because I didn't measure the butter. I didn't measure the coconut oil and I just don't care. But yeah, they, they're, um. They came out, you know, okay, but they're not firm enough to pick the whole thing up. So next time I'll just measure. All right, y'all have a good one.